dancehall. People want to say Sean Paul doesn't do dancehall. You realize that? Whenever you try to say Sean Paul is the king of dancehall, you know, them tell you say, no, Sean Paul does not do dancehall. You see, I can't really argue with people. Firstly, some people when I have them feelings, they don't even listen to the reasoning. That's the first thing. So that's what I say. You violate any form of um, reasoning ability. Because you can't reason for something where you grab, a, you grab a little thumbnail and run with it. That, that shows you say you don't, know, you don't understand nothing about um, reasoning. You don't understand nothing about logics. You don't, you don't enter the conversation yet. If you just watch a clickbait, you understand? You don't reach nowhere in the reasoning yet. You don't even start the reasoning yet. So I understand why some people have them feelings. And of course, you know, those people are going to have them feelings. But people who understand um, the subject matter, they are going to know say, when my attacks are facts. And my, my argument um, can be, or will be, or is supported by facts. You see? I may not put forward reasoning when I be a facts. I mean, I'm, and reasoning when I have the evidence to support me, um, thesis or me, theories or whatever. You see what I say? Anything I put forward, I have, have, have evidence to support my reasoning. You can't go around. I want to go on, um, good girl gone, um, bougie, bougie, bougie. What do say again? What do you call again? Bougie? bougie? <laughs> yeah? How oh, oh, oh the word go again? Bougie? Big bad and bougie. Good girl gone, big bad and bougie. 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 It's bougie, right? Bougie. Bougie. A bougie. Leave me alone, the good girl. Good girl gone, um, 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 bougie. All right. So, there's the ignorant them, see, the ignorant people them, and there's people, there are people who understand, you see what I say, the subject matter, a whole different thing that you know. If you don't understand the subject matter, you're going to just come off as a big idiot because you're emotional. And we know, we know reason for emotion, we, know, we reason with logics. Is that what I say? Reason with logic, Virgin. Now, I could take the reasoning a step further. Right? Let us take the reasoning a step further when it comes down to dance hall. Yeah? Reggaeton. Right? Steely and Cleavy Estate at this point is suing um, the reggaeton, quote unquote, reggaeton community. Right? It's a lawsuit. Currently, um, you know, there's a lawsuit with the uh, Steely and Cleave Estate versus the Latin um, reggaeton community. Zane, ask yourself this question. Ask yourself this question. Why is reggaeton more successful than dancehall? If you believe that. Yeah? If you're supporting, yes. If you're saying yes because of the numbers. If you're saying yes because of the, the, the artists, the reggaeton artists who are more internationally known. Artists that are selling out stadiums. Artists that are doing billions of streams. Zin? Why is it that Reggaeton artists are more successful than dancehall artists. The biggest dancehall artist is Sean Paul. You see? What the biggest dancehall artist? We do straight up hardcore dancehall. You see? He's the biggest successful dancehall artist. Notice, when we say Sean Paul dancehall, people want to say Sean Paul 
doesn't do dance hall. You realize that? Whenever you try to say Sean Paul is the king of dance hall, you know, them tell us, no, Sean Paul does not do dance hall. That them say, don't. So what Sean Paul do? Give me the light. No dance hall tune that. Just give me the light and pass the Hardcore dance hall rhythm. Buzz rhythm. Temperature. No dance hall that. Get busy. No dance hall that. But when you say Sean Paul don't do dance hall, you know. When Sean Paul took all of the powerful dance hall rhythm them in a the big the hit dance hall rhythm them in a theme look at era there where he was dominating the charts. He took the rhythm after everybody voiced, after every song released, and found a hit song and all those rhythms. After Duali rhythm released, him go for the rhythm hit. After the one where him do, just give me the weed and make me smoke it. Yo, after that release, him go for the rhythm, hit. Temperature after everybody record, him go for the rhythm, hit. You see? Him are the last one, vice man, them rhythm there. And hit. Internationally. But when you say, Sean Paul is the biggest dancehall artist, them say, no, him don't do dancehall. Because them know, say, if them bring the conversation to numbers, Sean Paul are going to last everybody and he going to be the king of dance hall. That's the thing, you know. So they have to disqualify Sean Paul in order to tell us he him not do dance hall. By, by telling us him don't do dance hall because they know say, if them say him do dance hall, there is no greater dance hall artist in a, for the past 15 years or so. We do as much as Sean Paul for dance hall music. Bob Marley take reggae music around the globe. Sean Paul took reggae music around the globe. Even more than Shabarangs and Beanie Man. Facts. It's just that Jamaican people never embrace him and label him as the king. So it never spread out across the diaspora. You see? It's like we had a great dance hall. You know? Artists doing so well. You see? Internationally. But we basically just looked at him as a little uptown youth. And just disqualified him. So we never embrace him. We never put him in the conversation when we are talking about great. So it came off as nothing. Just do the match, no man. So when you go to the hardcore parties, them, you know, hear him sang them. Because we, we put a thing in the mind of even the selectors, them say, I know the answer, him I do. When the man has the biggest song for the rhythm. Oh man, get busy, just shake that, the biggest song for the rhythm. Just give me the light and pass the draw, biggest song for the rhythm. But them play. No party ago, them play the Sizzler, them play the Cabra, them play the Singer J. And maybe one other song, them don't play the Sean Paul. Even though it's Sean Paul song, they're on the Billboard chart. It's after the song, get way, get way, get way, you know. You see some people start playing at the dance, and they start get forward. But you know, you get them pull it up and say, yo, oh, you, you never go to a dance yet. And here a selector say, all who rate Sean Paul two and in the year. Because them disqualified Sean Paul from the argument of the greats. Just trust me, no man. If all the people them crown did have the success with Sean Paul has or had internationally, you couldn't argue with them. You could not argue with them. Them used to tell us that two Sean Paul can't perform, you know. 
Why them not put him in the conversation, you know? That them used to tell you to, you know? But look what performance gone to for the past 15 years. Performance gone to man up on stage can't sing back them song like how it's on. Man up on stage just sing back over them song. Like them song a play and them a sing over the song. For the past 15 years to now. Let me drop the hammer pound. Since you don't want to have this conversation. For the past 15 years, the artist, they have gotten so lazy. The artist them get so lazy. When them don't even bother make punchline or what you call hooks anymore. And them get away with it. But when them go stage show, the people them, if I know the little teeny bappers, them are the little generation we sing them songs word for word. If you put them in a neutral audience, or put them in an audience where there's a mixed crowd, like big people and everybody mix up, them flap. Or the people them stand up and salute on them. Because the songs have no hooks. So there is no time, for, nothing for the people them sing out. And Pepper's, who survives Pepper's call? Say, times change. But let's go back to reggaeton then. Times change for reggaeton. When you hear a reggaeton artist singing on a dance hall, because dance hall is sing you know. It's dembo, you know. It's shabba ranking dembo rhythm, you know. Or fish market rhythm, you know. You see? You hear them, they pan them rhythm, they tell us a sing like times change. No, they might do the fa they might keep the formula. Hooks, verse. That are the formula. I have the hook even come after four bars. Hook, verse. You know go to reggaeton people and go tap bow. Who no love tap bow? Times change. Yet, times change. But it not means say. Uno carry. The discipline, we don't know. Because no matter how we don't change time, there are certain components that make up a hit song. A hit song. You have to have melody, lyrics, to make it into a hit song. You see? And the melody has to be sometimes repetitive, whatever. I pronounce. How much song we can sing out the punchline for the past 15 years? Why that happen? Not because we don't have the ability, the ability, you know. And our ability we lack in, you know. Notice the other day when they look a quote unquote clash of Gwan with me and the artist. You know the people in my complaints, eh? Me I sing too much. Then my complaint say, my voice too pretty. Just, just, just think no man. The people them, even the people them get so accepting of the laziness we bring to the table. Cause we bring la a lazy, we get lazy, you know. Because we find a way off to cheat the math, math, math exam. We find a way off to do shortcut. So when the teacher come now and say, I want to see how you work out the problem. Everybody feel. Because we not have, we just know, say, we can do two little shortcut, add one zero, this, or add one this, this, or move on, and we know, say, we get the answer same way. So what we do? We get so accustomed to the shortcut, the laziness. See? So when the teacher comes and says, let me see how you work out the problem. We not have, we not, we not, we not even remember the formula. So that lazy something there are the problem, you know. When we hear people talk about dance hall, dead and this and dance hall, mash up and dance hall, and the lazy thing we come in a dance hall. A man not even have to worry, say boy, him not find a punchline. You think, say, you could have gone in front of Steely and Cleavy, Tony Kelly them, Danny Brownie them, Richard Brownie them, Bobby Digital them, King Jamis them, Jan Jan them, and you have a punchline? The reggaeton artists, them still are the whole heap. 
of streams. Billions of streams. Why? Because they must sing punchline. So when you go to an event, are you, are you listening to their songs? Despacito. Big punchline. Billions. You go listen to Daddy Yankee them. And I hope that I got Selena. And when I got Selena, then I hope that I got Selena. How do you know I got Selena? Punchline. You see? You couldn't go through the studio door because sometimes man, listen to you from. Let me hear what you have for the rhythm. When I'm a, no matter how you think so you're big and you run the place. When you go around and steal them, the man is not frightened for big artists. The man them say when Shabba Rankin come back from America, Buju Banta and them are around the place. And when you go check steal them, steal just say, Shabba, you're not hot. Some little boy named Buju around the place. Remember that. Shabba Rankin have a dig deep. And go find Tingaling and, 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 and trailer load of girl. And hold about the place. And show the look and show Buju them say, yo, Shabba still there, you know. A punchline run dance hall, Bridging. If you remove punchline from dance hall, a hip hop it done. Because of the rapper them. Just DJ, DJ, just rap, rap galang. So one bag of rap lyrics. You see? But people understood it worldwide. Or in English speaking countries. Because they are, because they were rapping in English. Biggie, small them and two pack them. They were rapping in English. We are rap in a patwa. It now passed the airport. Or it now passed the diaspora. So how much people in the diaspora have a support? One bag of Verses with patwa. And that cause dance off a decline because the man they did a rap, the verse them, needed punchline for them songs them. That's why we have more songs. We have a whole heap more songs. We have enough popular songs in the bass market, but how many billboard songs we have for the past 15 years? And it's the same formula when the songs them hit. The same formula. Girl, me want to hold you. Put me arms right around you. Girl, you give me the nicest thing me ever feel in my life. If she says she want it. If she says she need. If she says she love it. Give it to her, please. I'm on the way the time cold, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature hit. Punchline. With something for them sing along to. Everyone falls in love sometime. Why that hit? You think the Tanto Metro alone could have made that hit? Tanto Metro verse them bad, but Tanto Metro alone couldn't make the song hit. If you take up Devante, this song is not a hit tune. That's the reason why we used to do so much foreign melodies, pan the dance hall, rhythm them, because we were aware that we needed punchlines. That's why Elephant Man sings so much foreign melody. Because it's not everybody could have just find melody around the rhythm them. A lot of artists had to find foreign melody to match where did I go on in a dance hall. A man, thief man melody. Why think man used a thief man melody? Because that was a, 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 a prerequisite that we had to have. I don't get people who just start listening to dance hall 10 years ago. Me not talk to people just, if you want to learn, if you just start listening to dance hall, get your cheer. But if you just start listening to dance hall and just start know about dance hall, 
for the past 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years. And I come give me talk. You can't give me no talk in this. You don't know nothing about dancehall. Why you think Elephant Man them had to use Luther Van just them melody? I've seen enough dance before, but I never seen no dance like this. I've had bad times with you, but good times with someone else. What do you think that used to happen? Why do you think Wayne Marshall used to sing the Wallopa weed song them after the foreign melody them? Because it was so difficult to find a melody. Understand that now, man. When being a man here buzz with him, the, it's a foreign melody, I'm going to draw for keep up with what I go on for the rhythm, you know. To the rhythm, I'm kicking, you know. If you find a nice foreign melody, if you go with that, you're gone, you know. She don't really need a toy friend. You know, you need a toy friend. Or a boyfriend, no. A foreign melody, that. From them up on in a chichi nanga. Do you see what I see? Foreign melody. But it was a prerequisite. You have to have that before you are geared the rhythm. You have to have that all story in your head. You have to just know so you need that. It's like when you, you know so you have to have certain subjects before you can go to turn doctor. You have to just know so you, you're capable of going to the studio to go sing one punchline for your producer. It's nobody going to go waste him time because you're not get let back through the gate. You will forever be the gate man send out. Anytime you get that chance to go through the gate, make certain say you have the requirements and you have the, the things that you know say I'm going to make your voice panda read him there like a punch line and clarity and the next thing, stamina. Mr. Artist, the past stage had DJ and I run out of breath. Them couldn't bust. When Beanie Man, Shabba them, Stitchy them, Vegas them, Main Street crew, um, 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 rounded them, when them man they are run the place, them boy we are run out of bread pan stage, couldn't bust. You know why? Because when that 24 track, they are the 16 track they put on and it starts pin. Some man are the one tech. Man like, man like, man like, baby we and them. Come in and just you put on the rhythm and them just from start to finish. One tech, no arm to you. You think it's a computer where you stop and bow and bow and bow. And if you know it, I did it. Give it a video, but did it, but did it. I did it, did it. Give it a video. So you get all, when you look at 15 track man up and board one time because man had one line and go back and do next line and man had one line and go back and go. And lazy man get lazy. So man can't burn up a bag of spliff and, and, and one bag of thing and drink a bag of NEC and drink a bag of liquor bleach and, and when you go to studio you don't have no voice. So you don't have to worry yourself because you have computer now we can let you oh sing one line then sing it. Then when you hear it something it not him he just know say it computerized that's in a way where it don't really a groove but you work with it because we're in the era where people are more listening to the lyrics as a lyrical era we're into. We're into a lyrical era we're not into the era where people Want to feel good. People have other things now that make them feel good. Like you go up on TikTok and you feel good. So you know you don't need music to feel good again. People have other things that give them entertainment. So they don't need music to make them feel good again. That's the reason why we don't make soul music anymore. You see? Because people don't have no time for, for, for go listen to a song for feel good. People don't need, people people don't watch television no more. People are watch 10 second clips of two people in their bedroom a, 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 a fool around or two people a eat or some man a fight or some girls are sh some right now people they on TikTok. And this is what the world has gone to. The, girl, the world basically is like TikTok. You go over TikTok, you scroll through, you find where you want to entertain you. 